hello YouTube. It is I. Um, I am Mr. Turbo DK on YouTube, otherwise known as DJ Sarge on Eve Radio. Maybe you heard of me. Maybe not. I have a small comparison of um, well, 22 ammo that I have been firing through my recently acquired Anschutz 1903. Very nice rifle that I use for competition shooting and whatnot. Although the whatnot has kinda been there to do yet. <laughs> so we have been just sneaking around, getting some exotic ammo if you want to call it that. You know, something else to try to break the, mon the monotony of just usual shooting. But um, let me introduce you to the weapon itself. Uh, as you can probably see, Anschutz 1903 model. And yes, this is a single action. There is no magazine feed of any kind. You see? So you have to reload the ammo every shot. This model I got cheap uh, from a, a buddy that uh, didn't want to shoot anymore. Or he was getting old. He had this one standing around. So I got it and it has a couple of extras as you can probably tell. Um, starting with the sights here. And yes, these are all... Uh, there is no magnification or anything. There is just the hole. No lenses or anything. You got the standard up and down, left and right. And it has what is called a diopter. What basically means it has a couple of settings on it that is extra. It is allowed in our shooting tournaments and whatnot. Basically, there's the inner ring that changes color inside so when you look through it it's uh, you can change the color you can have a blue bluish view or greenish view or yellowish view and whatnot also this uh, rubber is actually pushed over it but right on the edge here is um, a light dial, I guess you can call it that. Basically it can increase or restrict the amount of light coming in through the sight. So sometimes I get a little bit weary on my eye and it's nice that I can I can turn it down a little bit or I can turn it up. Helps focus on the target out there. And of course the butt stock you can probably see um, well probably can't because of the lighting don't know why but there we go <laughs> block the lens that'll do nicely yes it is a contact free mech from Gaiman ironically enough the bag this one come with, comes with is also a Gaiman bag and so is my accessory bag actually Ironic. Um, basically, it is aluminium. It is set for prone, I should say, lying halfway over table with uh, the belt on the arm and both elbows on the table. Yeah. Anyway, that's my main shooting position. Also, I can take this and do it down here and do it freestanding. Although I am not really good at freestanding, let's just say like that, okay? Okay, good, moving on. So anyways, the ammo test. Which is probably why you are watching. Or not, who knows. Um, I can tell you that the 
we usually, well, I got two ranges that I'm using, or using, pop up using. Uh, one of them uh, is uh, using. Well, I need to turn off this here. <laughs> well, I can just finger it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fingering the lens. Yeah, right. Anyway, um, the usual uh, we use at one range is this Gecko 22LR rifle. And just to make it easy for you, or not, this is what we usually do. We shoot, shoot five shots and then you flip it over. Oh, five shots. Holy crap, that thing's hot. Ouch. <laughs> Remember to self, blitz gets hot. Holy crap. Uh, well. Yeah, this ain't much good. There we go. As you can see, uh, it's kind of match grade. It plugs them in nice. It's just touching the edge of nines there. Perfect. Or, well within the perfectness and the other is actually the ammo that came with the case or bleh, with the rifle it is SB no SK pistol match and I actually ran out of these today it's empty and I usually I used to have the box at a competition shooting just uh, the other day and well holy crap that was bad. I scored one ninety out of two hundred when I usually score one ninety five or better. So it wasn't so good. And as you can probably tell a little stringing action there. From left to right or something. Anyway, there's the pistol match. And now here comes the funny things, okay. You know the exotic ammo I was talking about? Well, we were down um, getting a new uh, locker for Big Brother and of course we had to go go like, hey, what do you get that's 22 and, and, and um, well, as you can probably see, uh, they got something that's a little bit short. <laughs> what it is, is actually a Remington Golden Bullet Short. It's not the original case because the uh, original case was just cardboard and cardboard. I like the ones with the tray so I moved them over. But in my rifle, well, as you can see, flyer, but what's most incredible <laughs> is this actually. Um, yeah. The funny thing with uh, with the uh, golden bullet short in my rifle is that um, once you actually load the cartridge, the handle is very very easy to flip down. There's like zero resistance when you when you close the bolt, and for some reason it just chucks them everywhere. Ironically enough, that group was pretty pretty okay. But that group yeah, well you see a couple of them landed where they should, but the rest just um, I don't know, took the highway to hell or something? Don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways Remington Golden Short. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Anyway, moving straight along. Something that's probably not so much... Uh, uh, oh, how would 
accuracy. Not normal. <laughs> I guess. Uh, we have the CCI 22 standard. These are a headache because, and I'm not entirely sure why, again this is not the original box of course, this is actually the box of the ones that we are using on the other range that I am uh, shooting, RVS target rifle, and they shoot just as well as uh, Gecko uh, 22LR, the ones with all the nice big holes in the middle of it. Uh, moving along. CCI has, I don't know why, but I have a problem feeding these into my rifle. When I feed the bullet inside, you know, put it in, shove it a little bit in, load it, and then when you go and you need to fold the handle down, it is very, very hard to do it. I don't know why. And it's uh, basically all CCI that I have tried. You know, I haven't tried that much, but I have tried a couple. And all CCI that I have tried are having a tough time with the handle. When you flip it down, it's very hard to actually flip down. Besides that, well, I think I mean, the grouping is pretty okay. It's a little strained out. But it hits. Some of it. But yeah, not my favorite ammo. Not really up. <laughs> so, anyways, moving along with the little bit weird and wonderful stuff Remington 22. Thunderbolt. Yeah, doing the Thunderbolt voice, yeah. <laughs> These have absolutely no problems uh, feeding into the rifle. They're actually quite loose when feeding into the rifle, like uh, the other Remington. And, well, the shooting is ooh, not awesome on that one, but. On the other side, they good. They're good. We're good. And just one little whoopsie down below there, as you can see there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> not exactly sure what the hell happened there, but you know. So, anyways, moving on to the final, of the ones. This is actually something. A little bit weird because I have not seen these anywhere. Uh, I haven't seen a review on these on YouTube, as far as I'm aware. They are Lillier and Bellot, as far as I can read that they're squiggly writing there. Lillier and Bellot. If I'm wrong, correct me. 22 SB standard. And. Actually, I'm pleasantly surprised with these. They load nicely and actually shoot pretty good. You know, the type, the grouping on the thing is pretty tight. And actually, yeah, well, so I would say these are reasonably okay. And they might take a little bit getting used to if I can't get a hold of uh, you know, the usual ammo like uh, RVS or Gecko. But yeah, and that's my little, my little 22 various ammo review, I'd say. And shoots 1903. And, well, the ammo. <laughs> but yeah, I do plan on getting more goodies for my box of ammo goodies. <laughs> but we'll see. Sometimes we just happen to be around the neighborhood where one of the 
ammo salespersons are located and we might swoop by and have a look see what he's got on the shelf and oh we haven't tried those those were fun give me one of those you know a couple of boxes or yeah well those kind of boxes not the not the gigantic boxes <laughs> Uh, we support our ranges by buying our ammo at the ranges, but... So yeah, anywho. If you like... Um, well, hit like, obviously. If you... Yeah, well... Like, kind of whatever, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. What else is there to say, really? You just uh, wasted 16 minutes of your life. How do you feel? <laughs> Comments below is well, more than welcome. If you like the video, hit the like. If you want some good tunes, come visit me Saturdays on everadio.com. Eve-radio.com Where I am playing as the only Danish DJ. For some weird reason. Anyhow. Search out. See yes. <laughs>